Joey, wait! Joey, please! We can talk about this. Talk about what? How I've had to put up with you and your nagging for 13 years? Joey, take out the trash. Joey, don't watch TV. Joey, don't drink so much. Enough is enough. It's not called nagging. It's called caring. We can work this out. Nah, I'm good. Look, I can't live here with you nagging and complaining all the time. That's why I got my own place. So I can do what I want, whenever I want. No, you can't go. Is it because of Mom? What did you do? Kevin, look. I'm not going to be far. You can come and visit anytime you like. I gotta go. This is all your fault. You made him leave! Hey, Kevin, I was just about to call you. Dinner's almost ready. What are you doing? You know there's no sweets before you eat. Well, I want to eat ice cream now. Excuse me. It's going to spoil your appetite and it's going to give you a tummy ache. This trash smells. Why didn't you take it out? Because I didn't feel like it. You know that's your job. And I would appreciate if you did that. <sighs> this is so unfair. Honey, everything I'm telling you to do is for your good. One day you'll understand. Go have a seat. I'll bring you your food. Here. Make sure you eat before it gets cold. Can I play on my iPad? No, you have a math test coming up. If we don't study, you're going to flunk your math test. School first. No, I hate studying, and I'm tired of this. You're always telling me what to do and nagging all the time. Nagging? It's not nagging. It's caring. Yeah, and I'm tired of all these rules. No wonder Dad left. If I was with him, then he'd let me do whatever I want. I wish I lived with Dad. Okay, Kevin. If that's really what you want, and starting tomorrow, you can go live with your dad. Good. I'll finally be able to do what I want. Well, here it is. Your new home. Kind of nice, right? Dad, why does it smell so bad in here? You didn't take out the trash? I take it out whenever I feel like it. That's the joy of living alone. You don't have to have someone telling you what to do all the time. Hmm. Sounds awesome. <laughs> so, uh, where's my room? Room? You're looking at it. You can sleep right here. On the couch? On the couch? There's always the floor. Your choice. I'm not going to tell you what to do here. This is so great. You know, Mom would never let me have as much ice cream. Yeah, tell me about it. She's always nagging me about everything, you know? Hey, you want another ice cream? Really? Of course, yeah. Actually, my stomach's kind of hurting. Maybe I should have dinner first. Dinner? This is dinner. Isn't this awesome? We get to eat ice cream anytime we want. Hmm. Oh. Okay. So... Can I play on my iPad while I eat? Hey, I'm not going to hold you back. I say go for it. Yes! If we don't study, you're going to flunk your math test. Uh, oh, wait. Actually, I have a math test tomorrow. Do you think I should study first? Look, Kevin, in this household, you can do anything you want. There's no need to ask for permission. You understand? Really? Yeah. That's freaking awesome. <laughs> Hey man, why are you home so late? Well, they didn't pick me up, so I had to walk home. Sorry, little buddy, I completely slipped my mind. How'd the math test go? Terrible. I got an F on my test. 
And I never get F's. I always get A's. Well, when I study with mom, anyway. Anyway, who cares? I didn't get good grades. Look how I turned out. Hey, you want an ice cream? I'm good. My stomach's been hurting all day. And I need some real food. Is there anything for dinner I could eat? I'm starving. I don't know. You can check the refrigerator. <sighs> Dad, when are you going to take out the trash? It smells so bad. Uh, don't worry about it. You get used to the smell after a while. There's nothing to eat. Just beer. Oh, hey, that reminds me. Can you get me another beer? Sure. Here. Now, can you make me something to eat, please? Make you something to eat? I don't know how to cook. I just don't get it. You didn't pick me up from school. You haven't taken out the trash, and now there's nothing left to eat for dinner? What do you do? Just lay on the couch and drink all day? Hey, listen, don't tell me how to live my life, all right? You're starting to sound a lot, a lot like your mother. Now, listen, I didn't leave her so that you could come and nag at me all day, too. Wait, you left her? I thought she made you leave. Of course I left her. She's been nagging me for 13 years. You're wrong, Dad. It's not called nagging. It's called caring. She just wanted to help you. Look, I don't need help. And if you don't like it here, you can go right back to Mom's. Kevin? What are you doing here? Hey, Mom. Uh, I missed you. Listen, I don't want to live at Dad's anymore. I want to live with you. But I don't understand. I thought you hated my nagging. No, I'm sorry, Mom. I realized that you weren't nagging, you were just caring. And I actually missed your rules. <laughs> it's okay, Kevin. I understand. And I'm sorry for saying it was your fault Dad left you. I love you. I love you too. You know what? Just this once, we're gonna break the rules and I'm gonna let you have ice cream before supper. Oh, actually, Mom, I'm kind of sick of ice cream. <laughs> Nothing beats your home-cooked food. Aww, come here. Oh, hey. I didn't know you'd be home. Uh, hey, babe. Um, yeah, I was just, um, I got off work early. Why are you slurring? Have you been drinking? I'm just having a beer. James, did you really just drink all of those beers? It is four o'clock in the afternoon. I don't need a lecture right now. I am just really worried about your drinking. When is it going to stop? Can you just calm down? Nina, I am just having a few beers. Wait, where's Jacob? I don't know. I haven't seen him. You haven't seen him? What do you mean? It's Wednesday. It's your day to pick him up from school. Don't, don't tell me that you forgot. I don't know how I forgot. You forgot because you're drunk. I can't even believe this right now. You choosing alcohol over your own family. Hey, Mom. Oh. Hey, Dad. Oh, my gosh. Honey, how did you get home? I had to walk. I tried calling Dad, but he didn't answer. I am so sorry, honey. Do you mind giving me a couple minutes so I can talk to your dad? Sure. I'll be in my room. I can't believe you made Jacob walk all the way home from school alone. What if something had happened to him? It's fine. He is old enough to figure it out on his own. He's still a kid, James. There you go again. Another lecture. I wouldn't have to lecture you if you would stop drinking and start taking care of your responsibility. Look, Look at this mess. I will take care of it. Why is there a letter from our landlord saying the rent is past due? Don't worry.
worry about that. I will figure it out. What do you mean you'll figure it out? You didn't pay the rent? I couldn't, Nina, because I lost my job. on telling me this. Look, okay, it's no big deal. I'll find another one. When did this happen? A few weeks ago. And you didn't think it was important enough to tell me? What are we gonna do now? We can't make the rent on my income alone. I don't know, okay? I said I will figure it out. I can't believe you're just gonna sit here and drink as if nothing is wrong, as if you have no concern for your home or for your family. Can't you just leave me alone, Nina? Okay, I was having a great day until you walked in. I am sick of you lecturing me all of the time. James, this has gone too far. Your drinking is ruining our lives. You're gonna have to make a decision. What is more important to you? Your relationship with your family or your relationship with alcohol? Then I will choose alcohol, okay? Even my worst hangover doesn't give me the kind of headache that you do. I'm out of here. You're just gonna walk out. Where are you going? To my dad's house. I can't take this anymore. Hey, Dad. Door was open, so I let myself in. Yeah, 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 come on in, son. Come on in, have a seat. Come on in. You want a beer? Yes. There you go, yes. my boy. Exactly what I need. <laughs> so how are you doing? I, I haven't seen you in such a long time. Uh, everything's okay? No. <laughs> no, it is not. I mean, Nina is driving me crazy. Cause she keeps lecturing me about my drinking. Oh. Son, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, so what did she say? Oh, she said I need to choose between alcohol and my family. So I left. I mean, I don't need that kind of stress in my life right now, you know? Maybe you should listen to her, son. What? I mean, Dad, you split up with Mom when I was a kid? And you don't have anyone here to tell you what to do or, or, or not to drink? Doesn't look like you have any regrets. <laughs> Dad, what's wrong? It's nothing. It's nothing, son. <sighs> Wait, no, Dad. Seriously, tell me what is wrong. Son, I never told you this, but not a day goes by when I don't regret that decision. You see, I've been drinking for as long as I can remember, but at some point, it became an addiction. My drinking started causing a lot of problems between your mom and I. I just took it as she was always lecturing me. So I never listened to what she actually had to say. Then one day, she gave me an ultimatum. She told me I had to choose between my family or alcohol. So I chose alcohol. I walked out of the house and never came back. And now, not a day goes by where I don't look back and regret that decision. I missed out on all of your birthdays. I missed out on all of your games. I missed out on all the special moments of your life. Simply because I wouldn't stop drinking. 
<laughs> Dad, I, I had no idea that's what happened. I didn't know how to tell you. Please, son, don't make the same mistake that I made. Because your relationship with your family is more important than your relationship with alcohol. Dad, I can't believe I was going to let alcohol take that all away from me. I feel so bad. I got to make this right. I'm glad you're making the right decision, son. Thanks for everything. Hey, Nina. James, what are you doing back? Well, I, um, I wanted to give you these and to tell you that I'm sorry. Oh, wow. Thank you. But I don't understand. Where's all this coming from? To be honest, I didn't realize how many problems my drinking was causing. Today I finally realized that my relationship with my family is more important than my relationship with alcohol. I can't tell you how happy I am to hear that. So going forward, look, I promise no more drinking, okay? I want to be the husband and the father that you and Jacob deserve. I'm so proud of you, honey. Come here. <sighs> 200, 220, 240. Great, you're all set. Welcome to basketball camp, Jamal. I'll go get your jersey. Yes! <laughs> Thank you so much, Mom, for keeping your promise. You're welcome. Um, where's Dad? Is he coming? Oh, baby, I don't think. Dad, you came. Yeah, hey, buddy. <laughs> Listen, um, I'm gonna need that $240 you got. I got some things I need to take care of. But I just used it to pay for Jamal's basketball camp. Well, get it back. Look, I need that cash. My business is struggling right now. No, Todd. I can't do that to Jamal. You know how much basketball means to him. Mom, that's okay. I don't have to go to basketball camp today. You can give the money to Dad. Yes, my boy. No, Jamal. I promise you go to basketball camp, and I'm keeping that promise. Look, I'm not going to ask you twice. Get me that cash, or you'll never see me again. How could you say that? I have struggled by your side for years. I can't. I won't break that promise to Jamal. Fine. But if you're not going to be a part of my struggle, then you can't be a part of my success. Dad. The mom is devastated. Her husband left her to raise Jamal all by herself. But no matter what, she always supported Jamal in his dream to play basketball. Jamal kept practicing his game and started to get better and better. His mom was so proud of him. 
as time went on, Jamal ends up winning lots of championships and quickly becomes one of the best players in the league. Jamal Butler? Wow, amazing game tonight. Can I get a photo? Of course, come on. Thank you so much. Anytime, man. I got you, Mom. Jamal. Dad? Yes. It's been too long. Ta? What are you doing here? What do you mean? Look, I just came to see my boy. He's my son after all, right? Anyway. Look, son, I know you're extremely successful. And so I was wondering, can you help your pops out? I really need some money. So after all this time, you came here to ask him for some money? I'm talking to my boy. Look. I'm, uh, I'm really struggling right now. And I could use some help. So what do you say? Can you help your old man out? But if you're not going to be a part of my struggle, then you can't be a part of my success. Dad! Yeah, I don't think so. As someone once said, if you're not going to be part of my struggle, you can't be part of my success. Good luck, Todd. He's gonna be so excited. Oh, hey babe, I'm sorry I'm late. I went and got some food with the boys after the club. It's okay, <laughs> you're not gonna believe this. No. Ugh, you smell like alcohol. How many drinks did you have? I don't know, a few, what's up? Yes. Just tell me, Brenda. I have a headache. I don't want to play any guessing games. Maybe you should sit down. So what is it? I'm pregnant. What? Yeah, I know. Can you believe it? We're gonna have a baby. No. No. Please tell me this is some kind of a joke. I wouldn't joke about something like this. I thought you'd be more excited. Excited? Brenda, I just want to party. I want to have fun. I want to hang out with my boys. Not raise some baby. It's about having fun and hanging out with the boys. We've been married for seven years. Don't you think it's time we settle down and start having a family? No! This might be what you want, but it's not what I want. First thing tomorrow, we're going to the clinic to take care of this. I'm not giving up on our baby. Well, it's either me or this baby. So make your choice. You know I can't make that decision. Fine. Then I'll go. I have a divorce paper sent to you. The wife is devastated and can't stop crying. 
The husband continues to party and have fun. He hangs out with his boys and drinks every night. Over time, the wife slowly starts to regain her strength. The pregnancy gives her a new level of confidence she's never had before. As her life starts going up, the husband's life starts going down. His friends settle down and begin to have families of their own. One by one, they all disappear until the husband is left all alone. The wife ends up having her baby. She cries tears of joy, feeling so happy as she holds her daughter in her hands for the very first time. Brenda, it's been so long. I wanted to come by and see you. Hey, Roger. Is this our baby? To be honest, I haven't been able to get the two of you out of my head. And I've been thinking, maybe we could try this marriage again. I don't understand. I thought you wanted to hang out and have fun with your boys. Yeah, but... They all ended up settling down and starting their own families. So it's just me now. Anyway, what do you say? Hey, honey, here's your bottle. Hey, thank you. Uh, who's your friend? Uh, this is my ex-husband, Roger. Oh, uh, nice meet you. Why don't I go feed Ashley and uh, lay to catch up? I didn't realize you had a new boyfriend. Beyonce, actually. Listen, Roger, if you ever want to see your daughter, you're more than welcome. But as far as anything else goes, I've moved on. I needed to find a man who was ready to settle down and have a family. You take care, Roger. Hey Darman fam, make sure to subscribe to my channels and check out this next video. I know you're gonna love it. I may make only half the money, but I give twice as much love and that's what matters. But that is the saddest excuse I have ever heard. I can't live without my baby. I hereby grant her 100% custody of... Wait!